SolidWorks Tips and Tricks brought to you by AGS India. In this series of tips and tricks, we shall be highlighting SolidWorks benefits in design and cost estimation for higher productivity. First in line comes the sheet metal scrap cost estimation using SolidWorks. The macros are developed and the information with regard to progressive scrap generation as the design progresses is estimated for every design. The sheet metal design inside SOLIDWORKS starts with picking up the template that includes the raw material cost as well as the scrap cost estimator has macro features embedded in the history tree. So when the sheet metal template is taken, the sheet metal design updates the file properties information subsequently at every stage in the design process so that the information can be taken and processed either inside the file or externally through the MRP ERP systems. Now here as the design progresses the raw material cost is estimated the scrap generated as a result of material removal also keeps getting added so the scrap cost starts getting reflected in the file properties. So as the design progresses, the design engineer is provided with the information as to how much of raw material he is using and how much of scrap he is generating as a result of the sheet metal processes that he is incorporating in his design. This helps him to evaluate alternate concepts in sheet metal design so that he can come up with least cost designs for the best performance. This macro helps him to achieve just that. As we go through, the punched holes that are coming in to the model helps the estimation of the scrap cost as well as when any material removal takes place in the sheet metal design. Now as we go through this the file properties keeps getting updated as shown over here resulting in an accurate information with regard to how much of scrap is being generated at every operation as the sheet metal design progresses. This is important and it's a very good utility wherein the macro features are used instead of generating it as a macro, we have generated it as a macro feature so that the user is not required to rebuild it every time with a force rebuild and the data that is provided in the scrap gets automatically generated every time the model gets updated. Now the advantage of this is least cost designs are possible and even before the first drawing has been released the person is able to come up with how much of raw material he has used and what is the scrap he has generated. The macro that has been used to generate this using VBA which is visual basic application is recorded so that this information can be repeated in any template across many designs. The Macro is shown here for your review to see how simple it is to incorporate this inside the SOLIDWORKS environment.